Welcome back to Creating Coins, where we talk about money and mindset for entrepreneurs. Today we're talking about the real reason you feel unfulfilled at work. There was a reason that I was in college for 10 plus years. So let me take you back just a little bit. When I started college, I was undeclared for the first year or so. So I didn't know what I wanted my major to be. And after the first year, um, you know, my counselor said, you've got to choose a major. Otherwise you can't continue on in college. So I kind of chose a major by default. I thought, well, I really enjoy Spanish. I feel like I'm good at it. So I'm just going to be a Spanish major. So I chose to be a Spanish major. Now, how many of you have liberal arts degrees? Do you have an English degree? Do you have a Spanish degree? Do you have a degree in literature? or something like that, a history major. If you do, then you can probably relate. But I didn't realize it at the time. Uh, liberal arts degrees are not uh, super highly valued in the workforce. Typically, you wanna have a more specific degree and a business degree is, is usually the most valuable degree that you can get. Unless you're taking your history degree and then going for additional education and getting a law degree and all that. But I'm talking about an undergraduate degree. So after graduating with the Spanish degree, um, I realized that I didn't wanna teach Spanish. And even if I did, I would have had to go and get an additional certification. I also didn't want to move overseas in order to translate. And I didn't want to do any court reporting translation. So some of the jobs that were available to me, I realized that that's not actually what I wanted to do. I just wanted to walk around and speak Spanish all day, right? <laughs> so after I realized that my Spanish degree wasn't gonna be very profitable for me, so I was working as a cashier at a restaurant and I decided to go back to college. So I went back to college to get a uh, an additional degree, one that would be more highly valued. I told myself, you're only allowed to get an accounting degree, a finance degree, or an engineering degree. Now, engineering was way over my head. Accounting was just really, really boring, but finance was pretty interesting. After I got that finance degree, I realized that I needed to get a cubicle job. I needed to get a job that would allow me to pay off um, all of the loans that I had taken out in order to get these degrees. And at that point, I, I felt really crushed because I never really wanted a cubicle job. I always felt like I would be an entrepreneur. I felt like I would be the CEO of a business. I felt like I was the person to, to take and direct the movement of something. I, I knew I was a creator. I knew I was meant for more. But I thought, well, if this is what I have to do, then I'm gonna do it. So I decided to get a cubicle job. Little did I know that I was gonna graduate during the greatest recession since the Great Depression, and so I had a really hard time finding a job. It took me 11 months to find a job. Now, in those first couple of months, I thought, if I can't find a job, then I'm just gonna create one myself. Maybe this will be my road to entrepreneurship. So I decided to create um, a little blog. It was a personal finance blog, and I just started talking about my own struggles. I started teaching what I had learned in college, and I continued to write. After I got a full-time job, I thought, okay, this is it. I'm gonna hang out in this full-time job. This is gonna be it for me. And uh, you know, I'll just, I'll take my paycheck. I'll go home, I'll work on my blog on the side and you know, I'll, I'll bring in a healthy income. But the problem was is that I felt really unfulfilled at work. Now, if you're feeling unfulfilled at work, it might be because of the same issues that I was having problems with. Now, the reasons that I felt really unfulfilled is because I felt like I didn't have that creative energy that I could get out. I couldn't take the ideas that were in my head and turn them into reality. And I found that I am a creator. My, my need and my inherent need is to take ideas out of my head and bring them to life and see them to vision. So if you're feeling unfulfilled at work, it's probably because you don't have enough room to breathe. You don't have a creative space. Now, if you can work in an entrepreneurial organization where you're given room to breathe and you're given the ability to work on your own projects along with doing the work that you do every day, you might feel really fulfilled at work. But if you don't and you're just required to do those rote tasks over and over again every single day, you're probably feeling really frustrated right now. So what was the solution? What did I do? Well, I continued to work on my blog on the side and I started looking for ways to earn enough to replace my full-time income. 
what I discovered was that I could take my skills and turn it into an online business. And I started doing some freelance writing and freelance social media management. I booked my first client at about $800 a month. And then I booked the next client at around $2,500 a month. And I continued to book clients and I replaced my full-time income by doing done for you services. I truly believe that you have a unique skill that you're probably not using and you can take that and turn it into an online business. I've helped hundreds of clients take their own unique skills and turn them into an online business. And I'd love to show you exactly the process, how we've done it and how you can do it as well. I'm hosting a training called 30 days to client praise. I will leave all the details in the description box. You can just click the link below. There are a few times that you can choose in order to sign up for and watch the training. During the training, I'm going to show you exactly how to figure out what your unique skill is, how to package it up and offer it to clients. I'll even show you how to get your first client and then how to set up a system that continues to bring clients to you. Now I had a young lady that was on the training and she said, I just got a client while I was on the training. So I know that it works and I'd love to have you join us as well. All of the details that you need are in the description box. Remember, all it takes is action to turn your ideas into income and that's creating coins. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next one.